Hey, I trust you guys are safe. Kanopus here. So this is going to be a brief comparison video between the Asus Tough A17 and the HP Omen 15 2020. Many of you guys were asking me to cover this topic, this comparison. So yeah, here it is. These are the two of the most popular laptop between the price range of under 80,000 rupees. Before diving into the contrast, the differences between these devices, let's just talk about what they have similar in them. They have the same GPU and the CPU combo which is Ryzen 5 4600 and 1650 Ti. And the differences are, well, screen size. This is a 17 inch device, the Tough A17 and the HP Omen is a 15 inch device. This has 120Hz of refresh rate while this only has 60Hz of refresh rate. I'm talking about the base variant here. They both have thin bezel so they both feel very compact. I mean the display looks very compact. But when it comes to the overall winner, the display on the Tough A17 is the clear winner. I want to make this video quite simple for you. If your priority is screen, then go for the Tough A17. This is the best bang for your buck. The performance is similar on these devices as they both share the same CPU and the GPU combo and they also have same amount of RAM. When it comes to the thermal, the HP Omen is way better than A17, like way better. It, it is so well engineered. The thermal is the one of the strongest point of this device. They both have good I.O. selection but you get an extra SD card slot in the HP Omen and the Tough A17 lacks an SD card slot. The webcam is better on HP Omen than ASUS so if your priority is webcam, people who do conferences, who attend online classes then Omen should be your choice. Let's just talk about the design and we'll start the design element with the Omen. It looks premium, it is, it's compact, it's premium, the logo on the back looks very subtle. It is more clean and aesthetic looking laptop. It is more of an office going, a, a good boy laptop. When it comes to the A17, it's the bad boy. It has every element which gaming laptop should have. RGB keyboard, a customized logo of tough gaming. It has all the gaming vibes which a gamer requires. So if your priority is gaming, please go for A17. This is meant for gamers. If you're an interior designer, a programmer or a casual gamer, then then HP should be okay for you. The HP doesn't feels like a 15 inch device when you look at it because it is so compact and it also has thin bezel. The same case goes with the A17. It doesn't look as, it does not look as a 17 inch device when you look at, I mean if you look at this laptop alone, you can't tell a difference between a 15 inch device and a 17 inch device. It is also very compact. It also has very thin bezel. Unless and until you compare this 17 inch device with a 15 inch device, you can't really tell the difference between this. Because of the good thermals and a lightweight and a compact device, HP Omen is ideal for traveling. Now let's just talk about the build. The build is solid on both of these devices. A17 is made up of metal and the keyboard deck of the HP is made up of metal. Remember, the keyboard deck and the bottom panel of the A17 is made up of plastic and the top and the bottom panel of the HP Omen is made up of plastic. I'm sure you get that. Now let's just talk about the thermals in detail. The thermals are no doubt absolutely excellent on the HP Omen. It is, as I told you before, it is the one of the best thing I love about this device. But when it comes to the A17, when it comes to the A17's thermal, it is better than A15. I'm getting 95, 94 degrees on CPU and 80 degrees on GPU. And because it's a 17 inch device, there's more room inside its chassis to air to flow. And it is just, it has some better thermals than A15. All right, let's just talk about the battery. They both have similar kind of battery. This Asus has 48 watt hour battery and Omen has 52.2 watt hour battery. When it comes to the normal usage, on Asus A17, I'm getting six to six and a half hours of battery life and on HP, seven to eight hours of battery life. When it comes to the gaming, I'm getting two and a half hours on both of these devices at max. They both have 150 watt hours of charger, but the HP supports fast charging and the ASUS does not support fast charging, even though they both share the same amount of charger capacity. Long story short, the keyboard on the A17, the ASUS is much better than the HP. It has RGB, it has number pad, it has levels of backlights, three levels of backlights, uh, different modes on RGB. And I just have only one complaint about the keyboard. The arrow keys are a little smaller. When we compare the arrow key with other keys of the keyboard, the keyboard on the Omen is not a bad keyboard by any mean. 
It is not a full size keyboard. It lacks number pad. It only has single level of backlight and that too only white in color. But when it comes to ease of use, the HP is more easy to get used to. Now the Asus Stuff A17 also has better trackpad. It has physical dedicated left and right click buttons. The trackpad is made up of plastic and it is little smaller in size when we compare this to the HP Omen. The HP Omen's trackpad is little larger than the Tough A17 but it does not have physical dedicated left and right click buttons. Also the trackpad on the HP is made up of plastic but it has some kind of texture to it. When it comes to the software, the ASUS have its own armory and the Omen has its own command center but the software on the ASUS is much better. It gives more control of your PC, of your machine. Now when it comes to upgradability, this guy wins. We can upgrade the A17 up to 32 GB of RAM and 1 TB of SSD and while it comes to the HP Omen we can only upgrade this thing up to 16 GB of RAM and 1 TB of SSD. They, they both support 3200 MHz of RAM so yeah they are fast. And yeah Wi-Fi cards. ASUS is running a Realtek Wi-Fi card and Omen is running an Intel card. So now to conclude this video, let me make this a little simpler for you. If you want to game, gaming is your priority, then no doubt go with the Tough A17 as this has RGB, higher refresh rate, bigger screen so you can enjoy the game as well. But HP is little travel friendly, more casual gaming. If you're a designer, if you're an interior designer, if you're a programmer, then HP should be good for you. There isn't a much weight difference between these two, only 300-200 grams. When it comes to value for money, you can't beat the tough A17, it gives more value for your money. Okay, that was the comparison between these two devices. I know you guys are having so many doubts, questions, queries in your mind. Well, I'm here to help you. Just comment down below. I'll try my best to reply you as fast as possible. Okay, thumbs up if you like this video and subscribe if you are a tech enthusiast. See you guys next time.